Kingy. What is on the kitchen table? Oh, it's my protist. I'm hoping to find some euglena, maybe some paramecia. I took the sample from- Stop. I meant, why is it on the kitchen table? Oh, I got distracted. I was going to take some drops and put it on a slide while I set up my microscope. Yes. Well, please get your green water away from where we eat. Green water? Don't be ridiculous, Petunia. There are tons of protist in here. We just have to find them. Well, I think you're out of luck. The protists that I'm looking for are unicellular, meaning they're made up of one cell. And generally, you need a microscope to see them. Huh. Never used one of those. You've never used a microscope before? No. Well, you know what that means. I'm afraid of what that means. We must explore the world of microscopes. First of all, let's focus on a few terms that are important in order to understand microscopes. Magnification is one. That's really what most people think of when they think of a microscope. And we're going to talk more about that in a moment. But another term that is important is resolution. Basically, are you able to distinguish between two objects? This is important, as otherwise two objects could actually look like one object, because you can't distinguish between them. So, for example, if a microscope had a resolution of 0.2 microns, then that means two objects need to be 0.2 microns or more apart in order to see that they are two different objects, and not one. If you want to understand the physics of how resolution works and how it's calculated, we have a great further reading suggestion in the video details. So let's talk about some different types of microscopes that all take into account this need for magnification and resolution in order to see specimens. First, light microscopes. If you're in a classroom, this is likely what you have. And as its name would suggest, it uses light in order to see an image. Bright field light microscopes tend to be what people are most familiar with, typically producing a darker image on a light background. With a dark field light microscope, you have a piece that blocks the light source, called a light stop. The idea is that most light has been blocked, so the only light you see is light reflected or refracted from structures within the specimen that you're looking at. So you tend to see light images on a dark background. Here is our light source. Light passes through this, the condenser lens, to focus the light on the specimen. The level of light can be adjusted by the diaphragm. Our specimen, likely to be on a microscope slide, will be placed on the stage here. Light will be reflected, refracted, or absorbed by the specimen. But we rely on these lenses here, the objective lens and the eyepiece lens, to get our total magnification. In fact, this is often referred to as a compound microscope because it has two sets of lenses. You can see that the objective lenses are attached to this revolving nose piece, which allows them to be rotated so you can select a certain one that you want to use. With my particular microscope, I have three objective lenses. A scanning objective lens that magnifies four times, the low power objective lens that magnifies 10 times, and the high power objective lens which magnifies 40 times. But don't forget the eyepiece lens, because that also magnifies images, and my particular eyepiece lens magnifies 10 times. So let's say I used the scanning objective lens. I would multiply that objective lens magnification level by the eyepiece lens magnification level so that my total magnification is 40 times. Now you'll also notice there's a lot of knobs here. Let me introduce you to the knobs. This large knob here is known as the coarse focus and then this smaller knob here is known as the fine focus. Both of these knobs raise or lower the stage which helps with focusing. The coarse focus knob will move it more dramatically, whereas the fine focus knob will move it in smaller increments. These knobs, the stage knobs, don't move the stage up and down, but rather from side to side instead. It helps you explore what's on the slide itself, but it isn't adjusting the focus of it. Not all microscopes have those stage knobs. Sometimes you have to move the slide manually. This is the microscope arm and the base. 